Hello everybody and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I figured in this one we're going to show you guys a little bit of the basics of how to stream using YouTube and OBS. OBS is a free tool. You can go to Google, type OBS, and you can download it and it is a great program. This is what I use for streaming. So what you want to make sure you can do first, you want to go up to your main account and then click on this little YouTube settings and then from YouTube settings go to view additional features. Then from view additional features you want to make sure that first of all you have live streaming enabled. If this is dis disabled then you're not going to be able to live stream. So make sure you go in there and you enable the live streaming function. And then once you do that you should have a little option here on the left side. If you don't see it here then you can always go up to the corner here go to my channel uh, there's also different interfaces in different ways that they've been updating the interfaces but even from here video manager as long as you can get this over to the side or you can find your own, own little live streaming uh, panel right here you click on that and then from here you've got all sorts of stuff you've got uh, some stream options, you can put your title, you can put the description, you can schedule your next stream, you can type in the game that you've got going. Uh, over in stream options, in advanced settings, there's all sorts of stuff that you can, you can work with from there. Uh, there's a live control room interface, so uh, you want to figure out these options and kind of set them as you'd like. Like if you want to enable slow mode in your chat, you can do that here. You can enable, enable the live chat if you want to add like a delay or stuff like that. This is the place to customize your settings for the live streams. But in order to get OBS working, what you want to do first of all, uh, from the stream now option, if you scroll to the very bottom here, you've got your server URL and you've got your stream name key. What you want to do is you're going to want to type on reveal and then you're going to get your code. Do not let anybody see what your code is. Because if people have your code, then they can stream on your channel. So do not let anybody get your code. What you're going to want to do though is copy this and then after you copy your stream key there, you go into OBS and then OBS file and settings this is where you're gonna set your output settings most of the stuff is gonna be default uh, you can set your your uh, video and your audio however you'd like it you know uh, the base resolution the output resolution you can set your audio uh, usually you can leave that stuff pretty much where it's supposed to be but what you want to do here is in streaming services stream type it's gonna be streaming service and then YouTube, you want to pick YouTube Gaming if you're doing YouTube live streaming. Of course, if you're doing something else like Restream.io or Twitch, you're going to want to pick that one. But what you want to do is from there pick either the primary YouTube ingest server or the backup ingest server. And what you want to do is right here is where you're going to want to type that key, that stream key that you just copied. You want to type that in there and then press OK. So now that you've got that, then you've got OBS set up to stream on your channel. But what you're going to want to do is how OBS works, we've got scenes on one side and we've got sources. You can do different scenes, like here, here's a scene, it just shows a BRB. You can add different scenes for, say, you have to take a little break or you want to show some fan art or you want to change the size of things. You can go back and forth between different scenes while you're streaming. And each scene, you can have a different, uh, different source. So what you do to add a source, you do plus and say you wanted to do a display capture. As we can see here, we've got all sorts of different things. Like here, I've got the Elgato game capture, and I believe that is a, uh, this is just a, a device input. So like here, I could pick the webcam, I could pick the, uh, the Elgato game capture, whatever you want. This is where you would pick your, your webcam or, or whatever you would want. Uh, the chat, basically we've added that. We've made a video showing how to add the transparent chat. You can see that one on this channel as well. Uh, you can put these in different or orders because these are basically layered. So uh, say you want to get like your, your Roblox game added to it. We've got Roblox running here. We can go into OBS and as you can see we've got the window capture capturing this entire window. You can also instead you can remove things by doing minus and then you can get rid of that. So that was just doing the window capture, but when you're doing window capture, it captures all of your window. Also in the window capture, once you've got something on, you could just basically type a name for what that source is, type okay, and then you can pick different things. Like right here, we've got this executable for Roblox. So you can pick Roblox as its own source. So then you're just capturing that window. You can also uh, pick all sorts of other things, like if you're running something else. 
So do that, press OK, and if you need to resize it, sometimes you're going to have to resize it so it fits the window exactly how you want it to fit. So that is how we add row blocks. If we wanted to add, for instance, a, uh, a camera, what we could do is video capture device, and we could do cam, and from video capture device, this is where you could add, hey everybody, that's me, so that's where you can add yourself, look at me and my mic, or say like Elgato Game Capture, if you've got something like that, you can use this to pick that uh, device and enter that. So I don't have anything plugged into the game capture right now, so you're not going to see anything from there. But this is how you would add that as a resource if you don't want to go through the game capture program. Uh, what you would do is, with that cam, you could put it over at the top, and then you can put your, your webcam anywhere you want. If you have like a green screen, for instance, you can actually do settings. So if you right click on this, and you want to do like a green screen, go down to filters. And from filters, you can add effect filters. So you would do a plus right here, and then go down to chroma key. Then chroma key is where you could do like green screen or blue screen, or depending on the color that you have. Here for screen color type, you can pick green or blue or whatever color you've got. And that's where you can change the settings. Like over here, it won't show the screen, but then here, everyone will be invisible. So you'd want to mess around with these settings to get the picture to look exactly like you want and to make sure that it gets rid of the screen in the background. So that is the basics about how to kind of get your sources set up and how to get your scenes set up. And once you want to go live, all you have to do is click Start Streaming and then click OK, and then it goes live. And you can watch the whole thing. And when you're done streaming, you just click this uh, button, change changes from Start Streaming to Stop Streaming, and then you just click on that and then you've you've done your video you've done your live stream so if you guys have any questions any specific questions on how to do these feel free to send me a message i will try to get back to you as soon as i can i hope that helped feel free to like subscribe comment below and we will see you guys later